Our school always is in operation, all summer long, every day. We always have people working, except on the weekends. But usually you guys know there's stuff going on here all the time. So we have a lot of kids, a lot of staff members. So you can think of, you know, we have to feed everybody, have to make sure the trash goes out, to make sure all the rooms are clean. Teachers always have to have paper to make copies. We have a lot of money that runs through the building. So a lot of operational things that we have to worry about. It's a big place. Um, you know, we are an older building, so we have uh, kind of some hallways that, um, you know, are kind of strangely placed. Um, so we just kind of, we have to constantly think about how are we going to spruce up the building. So some of our vinyls that we put up, like on the side of the walls, uh, sometimes we have to place money that way to kind of keep the school fresh. Um, painting the walls, making sure everything's good. Um, and I, I think the community also, just being the oldest, we have a lot of traditions and things that we do, and so our community's looking at us to, uh, and kind of what we do, and a lot of traditions and um, things that go with that. We have a, more graduates than any other high school in the area, so uh, a lot of alumni are interested in making sure that we're successful, so. I think, uh, and I don't want to speak for all of our students, but I, I like to think that Memorial is a place for everyone, no matter what you're involved in or what you're excited about, what extracurricular thing you might have, what club you might want to join. Um, we have a place for everyone. So we have 2,400 students, um, and so part of our tradition is being, and I don't want to say just the best, but we want to excel in all of our different areas. So whether it's fine arts, athletics, um, some of our clubs, our broadcasting crew, you know, those are things that we want to excel in. We want to provide something for everyone. We have close to 200, counting all administrators, teachers, uh, you know, our custodial staff, child nutrition workers, TAs, so we have about, about 200. So I would say I would put our teachers and support staff against anyone else. They work really, really long hours. Um, it's not uncommon to come up here on the weekend and there would just be this place full with people working for our students. So um, they work extremely hard and what goes on in our classrooms is uh, uh, what's best for our students to learn. So I would say again anything that can get us involved or our students involved in our different extracurricular, our, our uh, clubs, our organizations, being involved and excelling in what we do, that's what makes us a Bulldog. I am amazed at what our staff, do, that our support, our certified staff, they always go the extra mile. They're always thinking of ways that, things that they can do better, things that they can uh, improve upon in the classroom and just whatever their job is. So uh, they, our, our staff really cares about this place. Uh, they care about our students. They care about um, what goes on here in our building.